my friends. This is Bud Brown living in Dumaguete City, Philippines. I just got back. I live in Dumaguete City, but uh, I just got back from a three-day trip in uh, Cebu City, which is on another island. Uh, so the reason I went there was uh, I had to get a uh, some paperwork for immigration. When you, uh, if you're in the Philippines for six months or longer, you'll need what they call an exit clearance. So, but before I go on, let me just say, uh, this is the shorter version of this trip. I have, uh, I took a lot of video, and the things that I did, and new experiences, and riding on a, behind a motorcycle, and, and, uh, and this and that, but after I was editing, I realized, man, this is going to have to be several parts because <laughs> I like to keep my videos about 10 minutes long. If they're longer than that, mm, I really don't know if I have the time to see something 30 minutes, 40 minutes, <laughs> an hour. So this is a short version. And then after this, I'll put up the longer version if you're in interested in that. But this one, I'm going to give you the facts. So. I had to go up to the immigration office to get this uh, exit clearance, it's called ECC, Exit Clearance Certificate. And uh, I, wa I didn't want to rush it, and before I used to just, well, here I'm starting into the long version again. <laughs> it's hard for me to abbreviate stories. So let me just say, I found a great flight from Dumaguete to Cebu for 16 bucks, so I grabbed it, and I flew in, and also I had uh, registered with Airbnb, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but I'll go into that in the longer version. So I went to uh, this room that I rented, 10 bucks a night, and I stayed two nights, it was fantastic. And uh, so when I got there, I just went straight to the room and uh, checked in, and then I was going to take go to the immigration office the next day, which I did. And I caught for the first time a thing called Grab. Now, uh, Grab is a motorcycle uh, taxi. So uh, I hadn't done that before, but the the young lady who was at the house where I was staying, you know, told me about, uh, it's called uh, Ancus, or Ancus, I'm not sure how they pronounce it, A-N-G-K-A-S, Ancus. So she sh showed me how to do it on the website. You know exactly where you, where you are, and you know exactly how much it costs for them to take you where you want to go. So sure enough, he took me to... Uh, the uh, J Center Mall, which was where the immigration office is inside there. Went there, filled out the paperwork, and waited and waited, and I was, of course, nervous. And, and in keeping with keeping this short, I'll just say <laughs> it all turned out fine. I got what I needed, and then uh, I, I caught another uh, Incas, uh ride home, or home, to the Airbnb, and uh, I stayed there one more night, and I got up that next morning, that would be, I'd been there, this is my second night, so I woke up on the third day, and I caught, there, there was no, uh, no riders available at that time, probably because it was a rush hour, about seven o'clock, and so I caught what they call a grab taxi. It's kind of the equivalent of Uber, but here in, in this part of the world, Grab is the company. So that was the first time I'd done that. So a lot of firsts on this trip, which is kind of scary, but it was a very, very good experience. So I caught the, the Grab to the bus terminal. I tried my best to try to find a, a cheap flight from uh, Cebu City to uh, Dumaguete, but they were like 50 bucks, which is a normal the going rate, no promos. So I got the bus, left exactly at 9 o'clock, and rolled into Dumaguete at 4 o'clock. And I caught a tricycle from uh, Dumaguete uh, bus station here home. 
So that's the whole trip in a nutshell. But my other video, which is a series, it, uh, it will show you all the places uh, that I went and the people that I met. So I think it's a lot more interesting. However, it's quite a bit longer. <laughs> and some people may not be interested in that. So it was a great trip. And the reason that I got it, maybe I didn't mention it, was because I'll be leaving on the 17th of this month of October to go to Japan. And then I'll do another video on why am I going to Japan. So that's it for now. And uh, I'll talk to you and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.